I'm Casey Donovan, together with Amy Malloy. Thank you for joining us once again in the space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. Every Wednesday we say a whole lot of yes with mindfulness tips for positivity and being present. Quite often we talk about how to find emotional energy. But what happens if you have too much and it bursts out as anger? We're talking about yelling. The definition of a yell is this, to shout something or make a loud noise, usually done when you are angry, in pain or excited. Let's talk about the first one, anger. We know that yelling isn't a great way to communicate. Research shows it makes people defensive. It heightens stress levels. It rarely leads to positive solutions. But it happens. Parents yell at their kids. Partners yell at their spouses. Sometimes we yell at other drivers. We even yell at ourselves. No matter how it happens, we always feel shit afterwards. Welcome to the post-yelling come down. So, what can we learn from it? Step one, don't get stuck in the moment. This is according to Dr. Becky Kennedy, a clinical psychologist specialising in parenting, managing anxiety, and building resilience. When it comes to your kid, she has this message. Good parents aren't perfect. Good parents repair. I just yelled at my kids. Now what? Step one is repairing with yourself, she says. Try telling yourself this. I am a good parent who is having a hard time. I didn't mess up my kids forever. I can repair this. Step two. Now it's time to do the repairing, she says. Be honest with them. Say something like this. I'm sorry. I'm sure that was scary. I'm working on staying calm when I have big feelings. I love you. Of course, we all want to yell less. In an ideal world, we'd never yell at all. Often we yell because we need an emotional release. How could you release those big feelings in a different way? First, stabilise yourself. It's said that anger resides in the top half of our body. Find a flat surface, preferably at waist height, like a table. Place your palms flat on it. Plant your feet on the floor. Hold yourself there for a few seconds. Now, Take a breath in and puff it out with a poof sound as if you were blowing out a candle hard. Do it as many times as you need to. Notice if the fire in your belly lessens. Step three. What do you really feel? Is it rage or is it something else? Search back for our episode, Are You Mad or Just Sad? A good cry beats a loud yell any day. I'm Casey Donovan and you've been listening to The Space. We're back tomorrow with another mood-shifting episode. How to build transition time into your day and why you should Until then, space out.